Who'd have thought you could get nostalgic for things that happened before you were born? In this next story, it could happen to you, especially if you were in Canada about 20 years ago when the Heritage Minutes were shown on television and before movies. Tonight on Only in Canada, Duncan McHugh shows us what's new with our history, starting in Halifax a long time ago. Oh my God, look at that. If watching this evokes nostalgia, well, you're not alone. All right, who wants to earn some danger pay? Any Canadian over 20 years old likely recalls them. The Heritage Minutes. This one about the Chinese role in building the railroad had special impact on its young star. I do, I do very good, you see. Yi Ji Cho's first big gig launched his acting career. Even 20 years later, new acquaintances still recognize him from that part. And all of a sudden they'll be like, hey, were you? <laughs> were you in this Canada Heritage Minute? And I'd be like, yeah, yeah, that was me. And they were like, oh, you know, back in high school, we used to like quote this line or that line from the show. And it was like this, you know, and it was like part of their growing up. Oh, no, I don't carry a privilege. The Minutes began airing on TV and movie screens in the early 90s. Launched by the CRB Foundation, the goal to enhance Canadianism. A hundred years after James Naismith from Almont, Ontario invented it, uh, this nation's name is uh, Canada. Canada. <laughs> Over 60 were made. Canada. The British said it was impossible. The Yanks tried twice and failed. They said, you're dreaming. No other country has produced such long-running, far-reaching mini-dramatizations of national history, according to the History Institute behind them. It's not going too far to say that the minutes have become a piece of our heritage in themselves. Just about everybody has a favorite minute. People like to quote lines from them. Sorry, we're fine. Oh, sorry to interrupt. And oh, spoof their so earnest, sorry. kitschy format. Apologizing for no good reason. Sorry! Easily parodied because they were so effective at packing an emotional punch. They're so powerful, so engaging, so memorable. Still, this professor who's used the minutes in high school and university classrooms worries storylines get accepted as historical fact when they're really just an entry point to history. The goals we have for an educated citizen in a democracy has to be many steps beyond the consumer of prepackaged messages. But Yi Ji Cho maintains his 60-second spot did educate, representing Chinese perspectives to broader audiences. And he's pleased to hear the minutes are back. So Canada, yeah, we've got our we've got our maple syrup, we've got our dual language, we've got you know these kind of icons of Canadian culture, but really we're immersed in American culture. In fact, there's probably more um, reasons why um, why people need to be in touch with their Canadian heritage now versus before. Fitting, the War of 1812 is the subject for the return of two new minutes commissioned by the federal government, and they're giving us a sneak peek. I fight for my freedom. If Historica Dominion Institute can find a funding partner, more minutes are in the works. Duncan McHugh, CBC News, Vancouver. If you have an Only in Canada story idea, we want to hear from you. Just send us an email to onlyincanada at cbc.ca.